Newton said I can calculate the motions of heavenly bodies but not the madness of people. Why did he say that? What could have happened? Let's understand the story of Sir Isaac Newton as an investor. If you have never heard of Isaac Newton, I bet you were half awake through your science classes. Isaac Newton is probably one of the greatest analytical minds that have ever walked earth. His theories and hypotheses redefined science. They form the core concept of modern physics. Three laws of motion, calculus, law of gravitation are some of his contribution. Newton was no ordinary investor. He was the greatest mind of his era. Nobody in their wildest dream have thought he would make such a novice mistake. There is a big difference between a smart physicist and a smart investor. What happened was in the January of 1720, Newton bought shares of South Sea Company at 100 pound per share. In April, it was already 325 per share. By May, it was trading as high as 480 per share. Then Newton sold his share for price ranging from 400 pound to 500 pound per share. He kept a good sum in return, estimated to be of 7,000 pound, around a million dollars now. But by June, SSC shares were trading as high as 770 per share. Should Newton have waited? Newton was frustrated for selling it too soon. Why did I sell it too soon? He decided to go back into the game. By August, buying SSC shares were around 900 pound. Remember, he bought first at 100 pound per share, sold at 400 pound, profiting of 300 pound per share. Now he is again buying back at 900 pound per share. By 1st October, SSC shares were trading at a low of 290 pounds. By November, it was trading of 200 pounds. He lost about 20,000 pounds, which is over 3 million dollars now. Newton had no plan, got a bit greedy, and let emotion play the game. Newton was the victim of gambler's fallacy. Flipping a coin five times and a head appears five times doesn't mean at sixth a head or tail will appear. Judging future events with contrast to past event is gambler's fallacy. Each event is independent of previous event. Newton's mistake is still happening. 300 years have passed and investor behaviors aren't changed a bit. We must understand that market is cyclical, boom, bubble, and burst. Remember, strategy is king, information is key, hype is a red flag, and timing is important.